obviously, you know, I've I've been working prior to this role for one of Abendum's um, kind of key competitors for, for the last 13 years. Um, so have very much admired Babendum um, throughout all those years. Um, I think, you know, the portfolio is obviously incredible. Um, but on top of that, I think that they've always, they've always come across as having a really sort of courageous and pioneering um, approach um, to the way that they work in market, the way that they work with producers. Um, really creative and brave, um, and I think that's always that's the reason I got into wine because it's exciting, it's interesting. There are stories, there are people, and Bebendum have, I think, more than any other uh, wine wine business, have really brought that to life. Um, yeah. And and so joining now and being part of that is is really exciting for me, and a real honour. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's a good good tribute good, good tribute in itself. Um, so yeah, and I, I guess Michael, that, I mean, to, to hear that, that must be. Very encouraging for somebody for in, in, in context of our conversation. I mean, Babendum being brave and creative and uh, innovative, would you say they're they're the kind of the key descriptors that you'd be proud of? Yeah, I mean, well, you've heard this from me before, Richard. I I think for us, the you know we are we are framing it in 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 the in the context of of you know a, a, a significant milestone of 40 years and what strikes me is the the original sort of building blocks that we had in place of quality of um product quality of people determination to give our customers the very best service best information best knowledge that we can um has stood the test of time and you know the, the you know the refreshed team that is now uh, charting Babendum's future um, uh, are not changing those. What they're going to do is evolve it into 2022 and beyond, and that's that's really cool. 